Hi there, Andre here from Peak Motorcycles. This is a short video of my first ride out on my new Honda CRF 300L Rally. We're still under lockdown in the UK, but it seemed like such a lovely day and I do have an essential journey to do to go and pick up some shopping. So I thought I'd take the Honda. It is pretty cold, it's about five degrees Celsius, uh, but we do have blue skies, uh, so it should be a nice ride out. This is the, the first proper ride uh, that I've done on the CRF 300L. Uh, just heading out up through the Edel Valley. The engine's still a little bit cool, so I'll uh, just take it easy. I think for the running in period, it said try not to overstretch anything uh, for the first 300 kilometers or 300 miles even. So I don't expect I'm going to go nuts today. It's just uh, nice to be out uh, using the supermarket as an excuse to go and get a few miles in on the bike. So that's pretty good that even in up to fourth gear, um, it's hitting 50 miles an hour coming up Mamnik. So one of the reasons why I hadn't bought a 250 before is they always just felt a little bit lacking. I mean, I wasn't expecting them to be a full-on enduro bike or comparable to my GS or anything like that, but they always just felt they just could just do with just a little bit more. It looks like, feels like this bike has got that. It just does turn in so easily. It's getting a little bit steeper just coming up here now. Still in fifth though and still, still pulling up. So this is about a 15% hill coming up through here. It's going to drop it. Oh, that's quite uh, quite lively for the drop down to fourth. We've seen the commercial for the new Royal Enfield Meteor 350 with the built-in sat-nav. There's a stretch of road that's not in the Himalayas that they're riding up and it's actually this. Uh, it's a couple of bends just as you come up to the top of uh, Mamnik uh, coming up from the Edel Valley. Um, it kind of gets used quite a lot for stock photos of the UK countryside. Um, but as you can see, there's some pretty nice views around here. Okay, so coming up there, that was the first climb uh, that I've done on the bike. And actually, it coped with that really easily. I mean, I don't know why I expected anything else. Uh, but yeah, it was um, more than sprightly enough to get up there. There's actually a reasonable amount of engine braking um, for a small for a small single. So this is the first time really I've found that first gear is kind of short and also second. So you're at 35 by the time the light's flashing. Having said that, I'm up to fourth at 50 miles an hour pretty quickly. And sixth gear, which is longer than it is on the 250 rally, uh, just means that actually I'm now cruising along 45, 50 miles an hour, four and a half thousand revs, no vibration through my bars at all. And yeah, it's actually quite a comfortable place to be. So one thing I have noticed is the GoPro that's dead ahead of me, which is the one that's mounted on the sat-nav bracket, is vibrating a lot. So I'm guessing that if, ever, if there's somewhere on the bike that's picking up the vibration, that's it. So if you're thinking of mounting your phone uh, to be used for navigation on that bar, um, you might want to make sure you get a shock mount for that. Uh, I know there have been reports of, of phones that have been damaged uh, by vibrations from a motorcycle. So this is my first run on a dual carriageway, so this has a 70 mile an hour limit here in the UK. Uh, that audio is quite painful to listen to, so now that I'm back at home I can re-record the audio for this bit. So at 70 miles an hour the bike is quite happy to sit there in 6th gear. There's not a lot of extra power there for overtaking, uh, but it's certainly quite happy at 70. The bike does feel like it has a little bit more, but not a great deal. Someone asked me if it would do 80 or 90, and I think it might do 80, I doubt it would do 90. Someone also had said that there's a change to the ECU that seems to happen after about 150 miles of running in, which just opens it up a bit. So perhaps if that comes into force, then maybe there would be a little bit more to give. So this is one of the little back lanes around the back of Kettlesume. Definitely not off-road. Um, the road's not in amazing condition. It's quite bumpy, but it's, it's really comfortable to ride. Not getting a great deal of, of noise from the tyres. I did wonder whether the suspension would feel really soft and I'm not riding it particularly hard and I've not been braking particularly hard but I'm not noticing um, it diving under braking even in the same way that I did on the, the Fantic 250 uh, that I rode a while ago. Everything 
stock exactly as it would have come from the dealer and I do feel as though I could do with the bars being maybe an inch or two higher um, I've seen that it's not a not an unusual thing I'm six foot one um, a lot of the things I've seen on the internet for the 250 uh, have mentioned maybe even having as much as two or three inches rise so maybe I'll see if I can find somewhere a bit lower um, and just work my way up to it and see what I can do with the uh, with the, the, the existing cable lengths and how far I can push that really is such a glorious day this is what I've really missed during lockdown the pothole first bit of I suppose not heavy braking but harder braking that I've had to done and it did dive quite a lot um, I know that the, the forks on here uh, are set to be quite soft uh, and I'm quite heavy so it's not really a surprise um, suspension is definitely something that I was looking at doing something with um, but I thought I'd at least get used to to how it rides in stock form uh, before working out exactly what to uh, what to do with anything Riding along at about 50 miles an hour and it really doesn't feel strained at all uh, I'm only in fifth gear so I do have the, the longest sixth gear still to go uh, which having ridden a little bit on a dual carriageway earlier on uh, I think is mainly uh, going to be used for you know, precisely that you know if you want to sit there at 60 or 70 miles an hour at low revs and just cruise then I think the uh, that's what 60 is there for it's not really long enough for anything else but even this in fifth pulling up hill um, giving it a bit of throttle and it is actually pulling quite quite happily so that vibration that I mentioned earlier it mainly seems to be at around the well, probably less than 5,000 rpm so above that uh, certainly the way my GoPro is mounted it really does seem to iron itself out right about there so right on 5,000 uh, rpm so yeah so standing yeah I mean I, I can just about get my legs almost straight um, but to be honest, I do feel like the bars are pretty much down by my knees. I could just do with, you know, just that extra, that extra couple of inches, I think would make quite a big difference. So I think bar rises is definitely something on the shopping list. So this is just one of the, the green lanes uh, that goes to the Goit Valley and drops over into Buxton. So it's not really a proper full on off-road challenge, but it'll give me a, a chance to see a little bit about what the, what the bike's like on some loose stuff. Okay, so now suddenly I can feel the softness in that suspension. So on the road, the manners seem to be pretty good. But over here, as soon as I even hit something a little bit, it's rocking around all over the place. So I think one of the things that I'll probably need to try is just cranking up the preload on the rear shock, seeing if that makes a difference. Unfortunately, the temperature was dropping close to freezing, so all the batteries died in the cameras, so I couldn't film quite to the end. So final thoughts, uh, the bike will do 70 miles an hour and cruise quite happily in sixth gear. It might do a little bit more, but not a lot more. Uh, Off-road, I could do with bars that are perhaps two inches higher. Um, also, the suspension is very soft. I think I'm gonna try increasing the preload at the back to see if that makes enough of a difference, but if not, I'm gonna to have to do something with the suspension. But yeah, great day to be out riding. Uh, and it's great fun to be out on this Honda CRF 300L rally. Uh, if this has been interesting and useful, please like and subscribe, and I'll post more videos uh, when I've made some more changes and ride safe.